doesn't look good for Bill Clinton on this Jeffrey Epstein thing. <laughs> yes, you're right on that. Mm-hmm. I, I, <laughs> very rarely, when when someone who's been assault, uh, you know, named and com- basically confirmed to be uh, trafficking young underage girls all over the world, when you're at uh, uh, this island on the uh, the plane multiple times, and you have one of the accusers who's just, I guess, randomly saying that you were there with two young girls from New York. Uh, I, I doubt she described Hillary that way, so I think it's probably uh, <laughs> not her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some uh, two young girls from New York. Uh, she, she's this um, uh, Virginia. Is it Gaffier? Jeffre, I think. Uh, Jeffre uh, said that. Uh, well, that's the French in you coming out. And I've also like watched say- fourteen Jeffrey Epstein documentaries, so <laughs> I've heard the name pronounced. You know, I watched the. F- I, f- I watched the first one. It's so disturbing and so dark. It, it is, is so disturbing and dark. You know, still, it's funny because uh, I've heard, listened to podcasts about it. And, you know, the, the Netflix one was, I think, the one you're referring to. There's been a bunch of them. It really, one of the best things, if you actually really want to read uh, about how twisted this guy was and all the stuff he tried to pull off, is that initial Miami Herald story about it. It's probably the best one still. I, there is so much detail about all the stuff that this guy tried to do. And I don't mean as far as like, you know, sexual detail, which is obviously disgusting, but just like the just the balls of this guy to say, I'm going to continually recruit high school girls from the surrounding communities mm-hmm. that were just like, I mean, you know, there is a, uh, a known thing about high school girls that they tend to talk and gossip a lot, right? Like, that's mm-hmm. like every movie that you've ever seen about high school. is, how, And you're expecting to basically bring in dozens and dozens and dozens of these girls and expect no one to talk. The only explanation can be that he was so confident that he would never get in trouble for this because of all of this other stuff he had going on that he just didn't care. Plus, he didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Yeah, he was definitely a defender he, of the yeah, overall he, philosophy. He thought it was fine. Um, yeah, he, he, he did. <laughs> he, he used to. He he talked about the fact that well, in in uh, the eighteen hundreds, this was very common. Yeah, that that, that you would be. Yeah, with well, a it's not girl. the eighteen hundreds anymore. Right. So is right. so is slavery, <laughs> Jeffrey. So is slavery. Yeah. <laughs> and that relates to the story relatively well. Uh, unfortunately, it does. It really does. It does. It does. So um, uh, the other one that is, I'm, I, you know, he he's been on the show. He has denied it uh, several times. He is very outspoken on it. Is uh, uh, Professor uh, what's his face Dershowitz? Uh, Dershowitz oh, yeah. on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Dershowitz. He's been on the show a couple of times to answer this, and he is very, very clear. I had nothing to do with this. Oh, he's adamant. I was never involved. Yeah. Oh, he's mm-hmm. adamant. Uh, and uh, it's not looking good for him either. I mean, it's not looking as bad as it does for Bill Clinton. Um, but uh, uh, you know, if you have if you have Dershowitz, you have Clinton. Even if Dershowitz is not involved, let's just say he's your lawyer. You have Alan Dershowitz as your lawyer. You have Bill Clinton, who you've got the goods on. I mean, he's going to help defend you. I mean, he also helps you know, hurt you and your credibility on this, but you've got him, you have other powerful people involved, the FBI, these are all, what was released yesterday were all notes from the FBI. The FBI knew all of this stuff. They knew all of this then. Uh, Why wouldn't you think you're going to get away with it? I mean, it's just... You're involving, you know, there's uh, think of the um, Elliot Spitzer thing, right? Remember Elliot Spitzer with all of his uh, mm-hmm. his shenanigans back in the day? He went to high priced call girls, right? Whose business is to keep this type of arrangement secret, right? And he was very powerful, and and but he he went down a road well traveled for this type of activity. The idea that you could just go to random women, girls who live in trailer parks and, and, and just essentially abduct them for a couple of hours and then release them back uh, to, the, uh, to their high schools so they can recruit more of their friends is something so much different, right? Like it's so, <laughs> it's so over the line and crazy that he would think he would get away with it. And he did well, for a long so time. long. A long time. Amazing. Yeah. 
which leads one to believe that he had some sort of connection. He that you know he was either working for the intelligence community or he had the goods on so many people that he just thought, if I go down, we all go down. And 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 I think that's reasonable. I think that's reasonable for him to think that. It does seem more and more mm-hmm. as you look at these details is that was certainly at least his belief. I mean, it does seem. I mean, even in the in the documents, uh, uh, Jufre says, uh, you know, everyone owes me favors. That's the way she he talks about. Well, how can these people be here? Well, everyone owes me favors. We, we don't know. I mean, exactly what they were. She doesn't know either. She wasn't told, which she would only be told in like some sort of spy movie where the the villain gives away his entire plot right before. He, <laughs> yeah, like, right. Well, why would right. he tell the sixteen year old? <laughs> and, uh, and let me tell, I'm going to tell the 16-year-old this, too. Whatever happens, do not let him cut the white wire because the white wire stops the bomb. Right. All right, I got to go. <laughs> I mean, that would only happen. I'm leaving this to you, yeah. you 12-year-old girl. I'm leaving this to you. I'm flying away for some unexplained reason right now. <laughs> this is, I think, though, why there's so much resonance in the idea that he did not kill himself, right? It's just... Oh, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. so... There's so many layers to this, and and the behavior was so brazen. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he thought he could get away with it, or at least, and did for so long, and then even after got, getting caught, he was shielded by person after person after person. Uh, you know, the, the arrangement where his, you know, he goes to this little uh, cushy sort of prison, quote unquote, where he had his own wing, and he gets to leave prison whenever he wants uh, or, or every single day and go to his office to work like this is not prison um he goes Hang through that yeah when, when did when did prison start to have wings right. i mean <laughs> he understood cell blocks but he's got his own wing yeah. it's prison uh, when did they when did they suddenly get fancy i they got fancy when i mean and he was spending money to make it fancy inside the prison buying things making the interior nice um but he went he would go to his office every single day a lot of the stuff he bought was from wayfair too which is weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> giant cabinets really yeah. expensive yeah. eighty four thousand dollar cabinets just really strange <laughs> strange purchases. name cindy uh, <laughs> but, but then the agreement that he signs not only says that okay he's been convicted of this this is his punishment also, by the way, no one in the country can ever go after anyone who might be a co-conspirator of his. What mm. the hell kind of arrangement is that? I've never heard of anything like that in my life. How can you possibly? What if you find out later on that someone else was the head of this whole operation that was a much bigger mm. uh, you know, figure? The only reason you're so naive, the only reason why you haven't heard of this any, at any time in your life is because you've never lived in Russia. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. This is exactly the kind of stuff that would happen in Bogota or or Russia. That that's the way it works. And I'm telling you, the Clintons. I talked to a I talked to a Haiti national uh, the other day, um, and we were talking about um, you know Haiti and just how unbelievably corrupt it is. And he said, "My country will never recover until the Clintons are gone." He's like the Clintons. Mm. The Clintons are so corrupt, and they have used Haiti as a money laundering system for so long, and everybody's in on it. Everybody's in on it at the upper level. I mean, that's really that's amazing. If that if that mm. if half of that is true, which if you've been to Haiti, oh no, the Clinton Foundation, oh they clean that thing up. Uh, the roads, a lot of the roads are still broken up from the earthquake. What happened to all that money, Hillary? Uh, I mean, th- this is this is so unbelievably corrupt. And it goes to what Phil Haney told me. You remember Phil Haney, the guy who shot himself with a shotgun in the middle of the night on a lonely highway <laughs> in california you know right before he was getting married and he had talked to his priest that uh you know a couple of hours before and said hey listen i've got some really important stuff i want to talk to you about tomorrow yeah that guy who killed himself he he was a government uh informant uh or informing the press on the government and he told me years ago that this stuff was happening at the highest levels uh, and he said uh, that the Clintons were involved in the cover-up, 
Uh, none of that stuff was ever provable because he told me that he had that uh, thumb drive around his neck. Well, that thumb drive uh, I have seen now, and that information is not uh, was not part of what was around his neck. There was some important information on it, but nothing, nothing like that. Uh, I wonder if it was the same thumb drive or... I mean, why would Philip Haney lie about something like that? It just doesn't make any sense. And it all kind of goes into that Pizzagate, stupid conspiracy theory. There's something deeper here uh, that, you know, maybe one of the reasons why we're losing our country. Uh, because I have a feeling when you start digging, these people are so dirty and so corrupt that uh, all of us would shake in horror after we saw it.